Another day, another story. All you need to know about real estate investment. Once you have some savings, you may consider investing in the real estate market. Generally speaking, real estate investment has higher returns and lower risks than stock investment. However, there is a higher threshold for real estate investment. You need larger initial capital to start with. There are two most important things for real estate investment, location and cash flows. We can explain all the best ways for real estate investment. Firstly, you need to understand why investing in real estate can be such a good deal. Because there is leverage from the bank. Assume your down payment is 20%. The mortgage from the bank will be 80% of the funding. That's the magic and the real power of real estate investing. A good property in a good location is always keeping up with inflation. We can assume that inflation rate is 2% per year, so the value of your real estate is increasing at least 3% per year. If your down payment is $100,000 and the mortgage from the bank is $400,000. After 30 years, your property will go from $500,000 to $1,200,000. However, your initial investment is only $100,000. Assuming you still have $200,000 unpaid principal. Your return in real estate will become at least 800% profit over 30 years, which is significantly higher than stock investing. You may ask if there are also lots of costs related to real estate investing, such as mortgage interest, property tax, and other renting costs. That's the key for real estate investing. The most experienced investors can always find good deals with positive cash flows. And they can always find good tenants for consistent income. All the costs can be transferred to the tenants. The magic behind real estate investing is the higher leverage for mortgage. Your property only needs to keep up with inflation for at least 3% appreciation in value each year to achieve a 800% profit over 30 years. There are many ways for investing in the real estate market. You can flip properties. If you can find a residential property that needs fixing up and can be renovated quickly, you can sell it for a handsome profit. This is basically not an investment. You only have some short-term gains and could miss the long-term growth of the properties. You can invest in real estate investment trust, or right, either stocks or an ETF. A right can own a large portfolio of properties, including commercial properties, offices, apartments, hospitals, shopping centers, and even residential properties. However, you can't utilize leverage for right investment, and the returns are much lower. There are also some real estate investment groups, or REIGs. In a typical real estate investment group, a company buys or builds a set of apartment blocks or condos. Then allows investors to purchase them through the company, thereby joining the group. However, there could be some risks and the returns are also lower. You may also consider buying and renting out vacant land or commercial properties, but those are not common to retail investors. It requires some special knowledge and could be associated with higher risks. For regular people, the best way to invest in the real estate market is to buy a property and rent it out for income or buy and hold strategy. Based on that, there is an advanced version of the buy and hold strategy. It's called the Burr strategy. The Burr method or buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. It is a real estate investment approach that involves purchasing a distressed property, renting it out and then getting a cash out refinance on it to fund further rental property investments. One of the main differences between the Burr method and a conventional investment property strategy is that the focus is on investing in distressed properties and on refinancing the purchased property in order to buy another one. When practicing the Burr method, it's important to take the following steps in their exact order. 1. Buy. The Burr strategy relies on you purchasing a distressed property in need of updates and repairs. It could be a foreclosure property, or the sellers need the money urgently for some reason. It could also be some properties in a good location but with bad conditions. Or the location could become more popular in the future. The key is to find an undervalued property. Once you make some updates or fixes, you could unlock the hidden value. When buying a distressed property, it's important to calculate the after repair value, or ARV. ARV is the estimated value of the home after you renovate or rehab the property. To determine ARV, you compare the planned final result of the home to similar homes, or comparable, that have recently sold in the area. 
These homes should be similar in size, number of bedrooms and bathrooms, age, type of build and condition. When deciding how much to offer on the home, follow the 70% rule. Avoid investing more than 70% of the property's ARV. Some key skills include research, valuation, relationship with a good mortgage specialist, bidding for better prices. 2. Rehab. When you rehab a home, the first improvements you'll need to make are any that will bring the home up to code and ensure it's safe to live in. Next, you'll want to identify the types of improvements that will truly increase value. These may include updating the kitchen and bathroom, improving the curb appeal, and installing energy-efficient windows, appliances and other features. You need to create a realistic budget and timeline for it. You also need to find reliable contractors to work with. There is lots of work involved, and could also have some risks. However, this is also the key to a successful investment. Some key skills include, familiar with zoning, codes, and laws, rehab basics, relationship with good contractors. 3. Rent. It's important to find renters before you refinance. Because lenders generally won't refinance until a property has tenants. When it comes to choosing tenants, you'll want to look for certain qualities. A good record of on-time payments. A stable job with steady income. A good credit report. No criminal behavior or history of eviction. Positive references. When determining the rent, it's important that it's both fair to your renter and able to produce a positive cash flow for you. The 1% rule of real estate investing measures the price of the investment property against the gross income it will generate. For a potential investment to pass the 1% rule, its monthly rent must be equal to or no less than 1% of the purchase price. Some key skills include familiarity with codes and laws, identifying reliable tenants, relationship with a good tenant, home repair basics, relationship with good contractors for repairs. 4. Refinance. Once you unlock the value, you do a cash-out refinance on your investment property. So you can use the money to purchase another distressed property to flip and rent out. To do this, you'll need to find a lender that offers a cash-out refinance. And you'll need to meet the qualifications of the loan. Usually, you'll need to meet a minimum credit score requirement, maximum debt-to-income ratio, and need an appraisal to determine the equity in the property. If everything works as expected, you can refinance enough money to make a purchase for a new property, while also keeping the cash flow positive for your old property. Some key skills include relationship with a good appraiser and a good mortgage specialist for refinance. 5. Repeat. In the final step of the Burr method, you'll go back and repeat the previous steps in the same order as before. If everything works as expected, you can repeat the process as much as you can and accumulate 50 to 100 properties with good positive cash flows. Then, you may hire a manager to help you operate all the rental properties. After that, you will do nothing except enjoy the passive income. Once your passive income from property investments exceeds the sum of your salaries and benefits from your job, you may retire anytime. Congratulations that you have achieved financial freedom. Always remember that the two most important things for real estate investment are location and cash flows. Here we share some of the best places to invest in the real estate market in North America. The American real estate market is still very attractive for investors. Nowhere more so than in Austin, Texas. With a low price per square foot and high rental yields, it's an attractive market for both property owners and landlords. There are other places which are also good for investing. Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas. Nashville, Tennessee. Raleigh-Durham, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. Boston, Massachusetts. Orlando, Florida. Los Angeles, California. Atlanta, Georgia. Seattle, Washington. If you're looking at the Canadian real estate market, it's hard to ignore Windsor. Ontario, a city that has been steadily working on regeneration and growth attracting investors. There are other places which are also good for investing. Victoria, British Columbia. Kelowna, British Columbia. Abbotsford Mission, British Columbia. Bradford, Ontario. Guelph, Ontario. St. Catharines, Niagara, Ontario. Hamilton, Ontario. London, Ontario. Ottawa, Ontario. If you are living in those places, you may have better chances to find good deals. 
If you are not living in those areas, don't worry, you just need more time to find the best deals. Now you understand, it takes much more time and effort to invest in the real estate market than investing in the stock market. You can also achieve much higher returns than stock investing as well. There are more people who are successful real estate investors than successful stock investors. Once you accumulate some capital from stock investment, you may consider taking some profits and reinvest in the real estate market for higher returns and lower risks. Blue Eden Project can help you find all the best solutions and great ideas for a balanced life. We can improve your life most simply. Join Blue Eden Project, achieve a better life, and build a better world. Thank you for watching.